to be you be fertilizer is through the roof it's probably not new news to anybody I imagine but just going to look at some fertilizer because I need to get me some fertilizer and it is so outrageous I just had to pass went to Walmart and picked up some some cheaper organic that they called it it's made in the USA so let's hope for the best on that but my usual my my Fox Farm usual is my my go-to that I've been growing with forever all these years is uh, it went up a bit but I mean it was all Fox Farm was always pricey so um, I hope everybody's making contingency plans on the fertilizer part of things because I mean it's so outrageous I don't understand I think it was like a 10 pound bag of fertilizer was like you know high nitrogen was like $35 for like a little 10 pound bag and uh, that probably could have done the job for my little garden what I need done but $35 for that there I, I'm sorry I just not not doing it so let me know what you guys think if you got similar situations is it worse is it better in your area but my garden is cranking out the cucumbers and tomatoes right now. I got cantaloupe, watermelon, and pumpkin going also. Huge bug infestation in the pumpkins. I've learned a lot this year. Even more than I've learned in all these past years with growing. And so my big thing out here is the bugs just relentless this heat we're dry and the heat is just got the bugs are out of control so that's the problem i've run into this year uh they chewed up my broccoli pretty good which i harvested a while back now um but the pumpkin they're especially after the pumpkin i forget what kind of damn bugs they are they're like a damn not a cabbage beetle, but uh, I forget what the hell they're called, but they're nasty, they're ugly, you squish them, they smell like fucking mint or something, because they're chewing up all your plants. So it's a heat index of 111 today, official high is 106, I feel like I'm back in Las Vegas, but with a touch of humidity, so trying to keep the garden going, I'm trying to get over and get another garden planted on the land. But I got to clear some trees to do that. So every day is a work in progress. Every day there's something to do around the homestead, around the job, just around the lake. I mean, days in my life are flying by. And I've almost been here in Arkansas for three years now. That's how quick this is all going by. But uh, let me know what your experiences is, how what's doing good in your garden, what's not. Mine is the cucumbers and the tomatoes are out the yin-yang. Uh, the cantaloupe and the watermelon look great, but I still got, you know, however much longer of them growing before I'm able to pull one and see how it did. But bugs are leaving those alone so far. My thing is I'm, I'm, uh, I'm tight on fertilizer. You know, a lot of my stuff is starting to turn yellow, like it's low on nitrogen. Uh, I can't give my damn plants enough fertilizer i mean i just i'm burning through it it's hot it's dry so lots of water and they're just eating the fertilizer up but i'm just rolling in the cucumbers and the tomatoes right now which i'm just so happy for i don't know what's up with my peppers i don't got a jalapeno pepper yet i don't got a serrano pepper yet no peppers at all yet they're the, the bushes are doing great but and the flower is on them but no peppers yet so i don't know if that's here right around the corner hopefully but i needs me some peppers oh my beets are doing good too finally i've been trying to do beets forever and I finally the beets are doing good so everything else is too is toast it's too damn hot the corn all my corn is growing great but the corn itself is just i don't know man it's not doing so great so that's what I got. I'm going to upload this. You get to see my ugly mug. I usually don't uh, show my face on camera no more. Because I'm just, I'm done with the 
political bullshit and the this and the that on the on the on the you know social medias. I'm really contemplating for a while now just dumping the phone. There's not even no reason to have a phone, honestly. Uh, maybe for work, but once I get out on that land, I don't need a damn phone. I don't need to Google nothing, anything like that. I'll ask somebody in my local area if I need some advice on how to do something out there in the middle woods. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Peace.